Hello, welcome to the Colorful Creativity Podcast. My name is Caroline and this is episode 165. You can find me online everywhere as Kralalin, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Ravelry, Patreon, Ko-Fi, the works everywhere. Uh, and I have a webshop, colorfulcreativity.nl. And I also have a very active Binks, who is now trying to scratch his chin on these blockers. And, well, it makes it move off my little cart. So, putting that there. Well, you can hear him loud and clear, and he is doing very well. So, he gained weight. He's happy as can be. And he's purring loudly. He needs his attention and his moment to shine in the spotlight. So here you go. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Your little cuddle bear. So while I have a very clingy binks here, I do want to start with showing off my first finish object. Um, <laughs> He really needs his attention, seriously. They were asleep just before I started to hit record. Um, here is the Sock Madness qualifiers that I did not think I would actually make. Um, I finished them in time, I qualified for a team and I did the whole thing. And look how nice they go. Um, these are Hydra scales and they are designed by Wyvern Knits for Sock Madness. Um, like I said, these were the qualifiers. Oh, now I'm giving someone else attention. Now he's gone. Um, and I used, let me see, I have the labels here. Jawohl. Twin by Lang, it's 250 gram balls. And I started the one from the one end and the other from the other end. And I basically have a gradient minus some pink left for a different project. I have 43 grams of this yarn left uh, of that rainbow gradient. The other one is Knit CA socks, just color white. It was a deep stash yarn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I knit these on two and a half millimeter needles and I knit the largest size and these are for Robert. And I really like that the pink is just at the toe and that ooh, someone's back. And that the cuffs actually look fairly uh, okay for a man. And that the pink is in the shoes. Robert doesn't mind. He would wear a pink leg probably. But uh, yeah, these were, um, how do, they, do I say that? Um, it, it says it's an intarsia cable. Um, so like that green yarn, which is a smooth sock. Um, where you just need a tiny bit of um, this is uh, in its place, so you do not take it with you the whole, ra the whole round. Um, so here's that as well. And you basically need two separate strands of yarn for that. Um, but they stay in place and it's fairly doable. It was definitely easier than I expected. Um, I did have to make sock one longer. Uh, this is sock two, this is sock one. Um, because I finished it a little bit too short and it had a star toe, which does not suit Robert very well. So I ripped that out and made it a regular wedge toe. So yeah, that's the alterations I did on these sock madness socks. Yeah, he's on a roll today. He's in a good mood today. Um, so those are finished. I qualified for a team, which I absolutely did not expect with the weeks we've had. 
Um, but I managed anyway. So that is finished object number one. And since I qualified for a team, I thought, well, hopefully round one is a fun pattern. Let me put them on the blockers with the help of this very much not helper. Yeah, I was prepared. I brought the blockers. Uh, I, I still put them, have them out from the photos I have to take for Sock Madness. Um, for those who do not know what Sock Madness is, it is a sock knitting competition um, where you have to speed knit a certain pattern to certain specifics uh, and minimal length and size, etc. Uh, they have to be all correct. And some people can knit a pair of socks in like 18 hours. I can't. I need about 10 days, so. Hi, Beings. Hi. Is this a big, big show? So, um, round one looked like fun, so I started it. And here we go. I also finished it. Another pair of socks finished. Um, this is the I Walk the Line by Shui Wu. And these were just too much fun not to knit. They looked simple enough. Um, we were in between scans and results then, so I needed the distraction of a good pattern. Um, this was great. Um, after the 2x2 two two cuff, you start the chevron pattern. And, well, what can I say? You have to count. Like, that many stitches in this way, that many stitches in that way. Then you have to do yarn overs the right way around. Then you have to do knit uh, central double decrease. So, it's very engaging. I had to count a lot. And the counting made sure I couldn't overthink and just keep thinking about what we were in the middle of. Um, so that was really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I did it. I managed to grab spot number 39 in my team of 42 available spots for round two. Um, next round, there will only be 32 places. So I will not make it to that round. I'm fairly certain of that. Um, so yeah, these are also for Robert. I again knit the biggest size and this time I used a two and a half millimeter for the pattern side and a 2.25 millimeter for the just plain knitting side uh, and for the parts that are just one color. So cuff, heel and toe because 84 stitches is a lot. Uh, but they fit them very nicely. Again, I didn't do the toe as per pattern. Um, it was a rounded toe, but it was too short, um, too sudden going in for Robert. So again, a regular wedge toe, just decrease around, knit one round all the way to the end. And I really like them. The yarn, the dark, blue petrol kind of yarn is an opal uni uh, just a very simple opal sock yarn and the gradient is lang twin silk and the colorway is sagittarius um, so it is a horoscope yarn horoscope one um, they have like two identical socks in one skein and I split them before I started so I could uh, just knit on and see where I would uh, get. The rest of the yarn is going way more grayish uh, like you can see here, olive and then basically almost a dark green gray. Um, that bit didn't get in here which was very nice <laughs> um, because I like how the toes are green and they are almost identical. I think maybe just two rounds difference. So good enough, definitely good enough. 
uh, I really enjoyed knitting these and uh, they are engaging. At the end I was a bit bored because Robert has a size 44 and there were so many spots going in my team that I was like oh maybe I should just cast off make it a size 38 and then do the rest but I was not I'm not going to rip back work I did. I'm just going to keep knitting and if there's no spots left then there's no spots left. It's fine. Um, so yeah, another pair of socks done. Two finished objects. So I think I did well for three weeks. I already warned you, there could be a little bit extra. Oh, I shouldn't have put that away. I will get it again. The helper needs to eat. So, I now have a little bit more space on my lap. In my cute little Elden Woodcraft project bag uh, that I got from my lovely friend Angela, I have a plain vanilla project. And here is sock number one. I finished it. I took it with me to waiting rooms. I didn't knit a stitch then. I was almost at the uh, toe. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just knit the toe at home because that's way easier. And then I was a smart cookie because I also already cast on. So this will be my zoom knitting for tonight. Probably knit that cuff because I do not like to knit cuffs. And I would like to go back to uh, just plain stockinette very quickly. The yarn that I am quickly making a bit less of a mess of is Schappel Zauberbal Crazy in Jacke oder Hose, I think. Jacke wie Hose. So, Crazy Zauberbal. Always fun. And on the back side you can see how it knits up. Yeah, that's pretty much how it knits up, I think. So, I am knitting them on two and a half millimeter needles. For plain vanilla, I use 72 stitches for Robert. Because again, these are for Robert. I am just knitting socks for Robert. I found another pair that has very thin heels. So, uh, yeah. One out, three in. I do have to mend them, but me and mending is like... It will take me years before I get there. I just don't, I can, I, I feel like I can knit a pair of socks faster than I can mend a pair of socks. So yeah, I'm that bad. Uh, you can see all the markers in here because I hate counting to more than 10. So every 10 rounds I put in a marker so I do not have to count that much. I will just, Count to 10, put a marker, and then do it the same in the second sock. Uh, my gauge is fairly consistent that I rather do the same amount of rounds than that I do measuring centimeters, because I'm always off in how I stretch it. Right, Bing's needed his beauty sleep again, so peace and quiet. <laughs> um, in this project bag, by Creations by Kaz, the lovely Carol. Um, I have a lot, but the most important thing is this one. Um, the rest is just like those baby socks I knit. They're still in here. There's extra needles in there that go with projects I still want to knit. And all the patterns I want to knit are also in here. So this is the big bag of everything. The only thing I'm looking for now is the yarn tag, found it. So, that went aside. Um, I have been knitting from this book, Knit Happy with Self-Striping Yarn by Stephanie Lotfen. Um, and I am knitting this cute little baby cardigan. Uh, it does have a name. Showered in rainbows baby sweater. 
And uh, here you can see the knitting directions. So it is a fairly uncommon way of knitting a sweater, but it is so much fun. Um, I am reasonably far along. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Uh, I am currently knitting the cuff on the first sleeve, but I have already finished the whole body, except for some edging. Well, here you go. There's buttonholes, three of them. Here's a button band, and yeah, it's it's difficult to show you, but you start with this part. Uh, here on the bottom and then here you split it for the armhole and then here you do a three needle uh, bind off again for the shoulder then you do the other side then you pick up stitches for the back um, you three needle bind off the back in the middle because you pick up stitches here and you pick up stitches on the other side and then you knit both pieces half and then three needle bind off the stuff. Then you knit the front. So this part, you also pick up the stitches here again and then knit that way. Same goes for this side. And now knitting the sleeve. And then all I have left is the other sleeve. The bottom has a nice, I think it's a Oh, what was it? I think it's a garter stitch hem. Bottom border. Yeah, just knit. And then the neckline border is also just knit. Yes. And then it's finishing with a whole lot of ends to weave in. But I don't mind, it's really fun. Uh, it's a very cute knit. I mean, hello. A baby goes in there. I'm like, might fit a doll or something, but yeah. it is for my cousin, and this is the first of many projects I want to make her. Uh, or at least the first of the uh, garments. Uh, I already knit the two pairs of socks, but yeah, there's more to come. The yarn I'm using is by Daniela's Voltopf. And this is the soft sock that I also use, which is, is super nice and super soft. Um, the color is called Bahamas, and this is a 100 grams high twist, yeah, which is the 80% merino, 20% uh, polyamide. It is so nice and soft. I think it's perfect for baby knits. Um, I really like her yarn, and. There you go. I am now knitting on 3.25 millimeter for the ribbing, but the rest has been done on three and a half millimeter needle, uh, which I stole from my own shop because I didn't have any three and a half millimeter needles empty. Uh, this will definitely not be the only thing I am knitting from this book because I really love this book and I want to knit everything in it. I'm not sure, when was the book published? Let me see, I know I got it for my birthday from Robert 2020 so I think it might have been 2021 that I got it I think it was in COVID times so um, yeah very happy with this book and I mean I want to knit everything look at that yoke isn't that gorgeous or this I really like that so, and the best thing is she has plus size models in it as well, which I really, really like. Because it is nice to see a pattern or a uh, something on someone who has almost the same figure as you have. Look at that. That's the sock arms. I have yarn for that. I'm definitely gonna knit that. This is a sock arms cardigan. Uh, there's also a sweater, but I like that cardigan even better. Um, let me find another one. That's really lovely. Look at that cowl. I think that would also be amazing for 
mini skeins uh, from an Epsom calendar. Or what do you think of these mitts? I think they're lovely. So, a uh, highly recommended book. Then, I have also been spinning. Last night I suddenly got the urge. I didn't put my spinning wheel away the last time, but it was just sitting in a corner and looking at me when I was passing it. And I was like, yeah, but not now. Last night I was like, I wanna spin. And then I was spinning and I was like, why don't I do that more often? This is so nice and relaxing and I can feel the stress run into the uh, fiber and go into my machine, leaving me going into the fiber or the yarn and I'm really relaxed. So I am currently spinning the BFL I got from Schaap and Draak. And the color is called Herfstkleuren, so autumn colors. Um, this is 100% BFL. And I make these little pre-drafted bits, like almost like pencil roving probably. Um, but it's really easy to sit and just spin with them. And this is what I got. Look at it, and look at how fine I'm spinning. It is awesome. Um, I'm attempting a, a three ply, a chain plied sock yarn. Um, so we'll see uh, how, how I will get along with that. It might be a tiny bit heavier than fingering, but that's fine. I never use the full 100 grams for a pair of socks anyway. And when I knit with handspun, I always go toe up so I can knit the whole ball. I will just split it up into equal balls so I can just knit. Um, what else? No other projects I've been working on, probably. Or maybe my embroidery. It hasn't seen a lot of pro progress, but probably has seen some since the last time I showed you. I am almost done with this quarter. Showing it to you makes me want to work on it again, so that's a good thing. Good thing I got it out. So, it is cute. I should definitely pick it up again. Uh, instead of working on it daily, it's more a once every week or once every two weeks. So. Oops, but okay, that happens. Um, we've had a lot of on, on our minds, so it doesn't matter. Some things get dropped, but we can pick them up again later. Um, the sweater I was knitting on, I put away. I put it in a big project bag because, uh, yeah, it's gonna get warmer. I am not gonna wear that sweater once it's finished because it will probably be May, and in May it's like 20 degrees and I do not need a woolen sweater. So I am figuring out which one to pick up next. It's probably gonna be my outline tee in linen, um, because then I can wear it all summer. The other option I have is getting out uh, the project, I do not remember what it's called, but it's also a blend with a cotton. Um, so, no, it's not a blend with cotton, it's a fully silk one. Uh, it's the yarn from Denmark. Okay, doesn't matter. I know what it looks like. It's the one where you knit the shawl first and then knit the rest, like the V on the front and the back, and it's all weirdly shaped. Um, and it has basket weave in it and it looks really pretty but I have to dive into that so I need brain space. The outline tee is just mindless stuck in that in the round so probably I will f figure out that one first and then go back to the one that needs brain space. Um, 
Then, for shop news, um, there's no shipping for the rest of the month because I'm taking time off. Uh, after the week we've had last week, yeah, I needed um, just taking a break, um, not having the pressure of making new stuff, um, having that pressure of having to go to the post office, uh, having to keep my head together for packing orders so things don't go wrong because that happened in the past so just some time to relax and catch my breath and then start again um, there are rainbow boxes and there have been a few um, sneak peeks already um, if you want there are a few people who shared their box online uh, so you can find now if you want to have a sneak peek first before buying a surprise box. Uh, I really love them. Uh, there is a limited amount, but uh, yeah, there are a few left. And there are a few ready to ship. But since I'm not shipping, it will be April before they ship. So it feels like a pre-order probably. And I'm already thinking of the next box as well, which is going to be a spring bee um, flower inspired box. Um, but I'm not ready yet because I didn't figure out what I want to dye. Um, so that will be April. Not now. Now I'm just tired. Um, and with that, I guess we're going into the personal talk, personal update. Uh, so if you do not want to hear that, totally fine. Uh, I will see you again next time. Uh, trigger warning for everyone. There will be mentions of cancer, etc. Because, well, you know... How it is here um thank you for staying here if you do want a personal update um yeah last week we got the results of the scan and um, the first result was at the oncologist and she was like well um this part is okay but there is something wrong that was a shock because Robert is feeling really good and we didn't notice anything. So it was like, okay, can I trust my own body still? Uh, no. Um, half an hour later, we were at the neurologist and she showed us the scans and it was like, oh, we thought it was really wrong, like a million new spots and everything. But no, it was all in the same place the place where the previous tumor was and um, she said it could also be radiation effect okay this was all in the morning so that 30 minutes between those appointments was hell because we were like oh fuck everything is wrong and this is it but it wasn't um, apparently uh, they had a big multidisciplinary meeting in the evening where there's also a radiotherapist, a radioli radiologist, a neurologist, an oncologist. Uh, name it, every ologist is there. Um, surgeons are also in the team. Um, the radiotherapist looked at the scan and he said, well, it's all in the area I did my treatment so this could very well be radiology effect uh, okay if he is so certain they looked at things um, perfusion measurements and things all difficult um, but they are fairly certain it is just that and not new tumors so that is very positive um, it can still mean that he will have uh, like loss of words again or loss of being able to use parts of his body um, because scar tissue does that but at least it's not cancer again and we do not need a treatment plan but it was a hell of a day and it broke us just literally we were just completely broken for a few days that you just feel like a truck ran over you and just very difficult days. 
um, we picked ourselves up again. Uh, and this week was a very busy week. Uh, Robert went to the cinema. We both went to the theater, to Mamma Mia! the musical on Wednesday. I went again with my friends on Thursday because I love Mamma Mia! the musical and I do not mind going more than once. Um, so yeah, we picked up life very quickly again. And uh, yeah, I bought myself a greenhouse. So we have to uh, put that together if we're in the garden. Uh, life to the max, to say. Um, just trying to forget that it might not be radio, the, the scar tissue thing. Um, but yeah, I also fell down the stairs, so I hurt everywhere, uh, especially in my bum. <laughs> so yeah, I need a break. Now you know why. Um, what else? What else? Ooh, I forgot to show you my acquisition because I did get something. Um, I got this book, Maas Gestrickt by Claudia Eisenkolb. And I already did a beta testing of a course with her to have um, the perfect fit for your measurements. And it is very size inclusive. It goes to 163 centimeters with, I think it's just over 60 inches. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really nice book um, to walk you through the steps you can do to alter things. And here you can see the different options for the top part, sh shoulders and um, yeah, what, what options are there? Um, it is in German. Um, so there's like the yoke, the saddle shoulder, the contiguous sleeves, um, a set in sleeves or a uh, partial raglan, for instance. Can you see any of it? I don't know. Um, it's like building blocks for your own perfect sweater. And I really, really like it. So I hope I can knit from it soon. And um, I was trying to wait until it may be translated into English, but then I was, <laughs> I cannot wait, I want it. I saw so many people raving about it. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it now. I'll just suffer through the German. I do speak German, but German knitting patterns are not my favorite. But this is written in the way uh, English patterns are also written. So it's easier than those stupid magazine patterns. Um, so yeah, I think I will be fine. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, it's been a bit of a whirlwind of an episode. Thank you, Binks. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to say goodbye now. I hope to see you again in about two weeks, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll take an extra week because I'm off for that week. Uh, I will start again after Easter. So not sure if I have anything to show you because of course now spring is here. The garden also needs attention and I cannot do everything. Uh, at the moment I cannot do a lot of things. I even hurt my thumb falling down the stairs. I have like a nice big blue, black and blue uh, buttocks. So mm, yeah, it's fun. But those are the things I notice when my head is just too full and I do not pay attention to what I'm doing and then I just somehow fall down. Uh, in this case, it was the stairs. It was like, oh yeah, uh, maybe I should take it a little bit slower. So that's what we're gonna do. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>